Well, it seems that woke, liberal, SJW, uh, feminist promoting Disney's insane overprices, scams, broken down rides, and all of the other stuff that comes along with it is causing their popularity to tank in the uh, country of America, essentially. It's causing their popularity to tank outside of Florida and California. They're the least searched out vacation spot. Yeah, it's, it's partially a testament of the fact that you go woke, you go broke, you know, because that definitely plays a role in this disastrous downfall. It says here on Inside the Magic, uh, Disney Parks officially losing popularity contest. Sorry, Disney Parks, but you're no longer the most popular search vacation spot outside of Florida and California. Yeah, probably all the broken down rides and all the all the other stuff that comes along with it, the um, you know propaganda, the liberal SJW propaganda, all the other stuff that comes along with it, you know the overpricing, the scams. Yeah, probably has something to do with it. it says here in the article, uh, fa uh, family destinations guide to resource for traveling reviews and vacation suggestions uh, frequently releases rankings of top cities to explore or best restaurants to eat at. Recently, they reported the most searched tourist attractions by state. Essentially, the report broke down the vacation spots, uh, for which vacation spots get the most searches online by each state nationwide. For example, Graceland by Elvis Presley Home and Museum is the most searched destination in Tennessee, Mississippi, and Arkansas. All right, continuing on in the article, it says, but when it came to Disney parks, they were nearly absent from the research. Walt Disney World didn't even appear at all, not even in Florida, and California was the only state that searched for Disneyland the most. Well, so what was Florida's top search? Universal Studios Orlando. Yeah, because, you know, they're actually putting out entertainment for kids, not liberal SJW feminist homosexual propaganda. That's the truth of the matter. See, you should they're actually doing what they're meant to do, which is entertaining kids, not being serving as the political or so the propaganda arm of a political party or a political ideology. It says in the article continuing on that's right, according to the Family Destinations Guide, Disney's the Disney Rival theme park was the most frequently researched destination in the sunshine in the Sunshine State. Uh, and they weren't the only states that searched Universal Studios the most. Louisiana, Massachusetts, and Texas also were also very curious about the theme park. You know? Yeah, because, you know, they're just, again, doing what uh, entertainment company is supposed to do, entertaining the kids, drawing in actually family-friendly audiences, which is sad because, you know, what's happening with Disney would not have been approved at all by Walt Disney. See, Walt Disney didn't have uh, drag queens in mind when he was talking about, you know, appealing to families. So, you know, it's ironic that Universal is actually more in line with Walt Disney's vision for, you know, just appealing to families. See, the company that bears the name Walt Disney is totally alien to what his vision was. He would not, he would not have approved of any of this liberal SJW garbage because you know, it's just it's it's total total insanity. So yeah, all the all the problems with Disney is starting to kind of really show in their popularity. It's tanking. You know, their their so-called popularity. I meant to say is basically it's tanking. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.